and the focus of the program within the process is detailed process of production from the idea to final result under the brand made in Kazakhstan. The program shows us an amazing world of projects, technologies and industrial developments. How is it done? Like this? No, not comfortable. Perhaps like this? No, doesn't hold. Wait, there is a jumpsuit. This is great. Arm and legs are free. You can move them as much as you like. What a great invention for kids. So many small stitches, buttons and clips. You cannot even imagine the kind of laborious effort that it takes to make this. Well, we visited a sewing factory and are now ready to tell you all about it. Hello, you're watching The Process, a program in which we tell you in detail about how it works. Today, the lenses of our cameras are focused on the production of children's clothes. The first stage of making clothes for children entails the work of the designer. This person designs a new fashionable and comfortable model. Here the pattern is prepared and the appropriate colors and decorative elements are chosen. And once the model is ready, then the order is filled to have a set of clothes sewn using this design. The order with the design pattern is sent to the department where the draft is made, a line sheet with a template. It is then printed out on the sheets that correspond to the size of the pieces of material, which will then be cut out. The markings that are made on the printing machine help to evenly and accurately cut out all the details laid out on the material. It is not that easy to make a layout. The material has to be used as efficiently as possible, without leaving too much of it that can't be used. And machines can lay out all the details of a piece of clothing in such a way that not even a centimeter is left unused. Perfect fit. Almost the entire piece of this material has been transformed into parts of a jumpsuit. And now we are sending the layout to the cutting department. The first operation in the cutting department is the laying out of the material. The material is taken from a roll and measured. The knife installed at the spread table cuts out a piece of a necessary length and above the layer of material, the next one is laid out. It is very important to lay out the material evenly to ensure that the pieces cut out are of equal size. The thickness of the spread layers of material depends on the number of items of clothing that need to be made. The printed out template of the design pieces is put on top of the spread material and sent for cutting. First, the machine uses a laser to identify all the markings and verify that they are in the right place. And only then the cutting process begins. This process is fully automated. Once it is programmed, the operator only collects and puts together the cutout pieces and removes the excess material. Afterwards, markings are made on the pieces of material to mark where various decorative elements will be attached, as well as buttons and rivets. So many pieces. How is it possible to arrange them all and sew a shirt or pants? Can you imagine if it all gets mixed up and instead of sleeves, pant legs get sewn onto a shirt? But there is no chance of this happening here. The cutout details are numbered and put together into sets by size and height. By looking at these stickers, the operator can clearly see what should be made out of this set of fabric pieces. Now these children's clothes should be decorated. For example, an embroidery pattern could be added. For this, a drawing or design is programmed into the sewing machine. The place where the embroidery will be made on the material is layered with an additional ply of material. This is necessary so that the inside part of the clothing does not irritate the skin of the child. 
Then, the material is placed onto tambours, which fixate it and the sewing begins. Woven interfacing is glued to the pieces with embroidery. This is done to ensure the material does not get deformed or stretched in that place. Aside from embroidery, it is also possible to draw something on the material. But on an industrial scale, a paintbrush is not enough. That is why there is a printing machine. This kind of template with a set drawing or pattern is made for this machine, which it then prints out. Three, two, one, go! This type of printing is called silk screening, but actually this technology can be used to print designs on virtually any type of fabric. The most important is that it is porous enough. Special Plastisol ink is used to print on fabric. It is thick and does not get absorbed by the material, but instead is fixated on its fiber threads. In order for the print to withstand prolonged wear, the design is infrared or tunnel dried. If the drawings is composed of a number of colors, the fragments of these different colors are applied one by one. And after each application, it is dried. The obtained cutout details with the print are assembled together with the other parts of the clothing item. And now, the next stage, sewing it all together. All the pieces have already been sent to the sewing department. The first operator here distributes the work among sewing machine operators. It may take one sewing machine operator an entire day to make one jumpsuit, but a team can make up to 100 per day. Each sewing machine operator is responsible for a specific task. Someone irons the pieces, someone closes the stitches, and someone sews in zippers and clasps. Clothing for children is usually made out of knitted fabric. Because it stretches, it is much more difficult to work with. Usually, an overlock sewing machine is used for edging. It does not change the shape of the material in places where pieces are adjoined. Making children's clothing is a cumbersome task. The sizes, starting with clothing for babies who are one day old, are very small, which is why the work of operators of sewing machines is very delicate. Once the sewing is finished, the clothing item is checked for quality. This person notices every crooked stitch or button that is not sewn on correctly. Children's clothing is somewhat special. Nothing should get in the way of a child discovering this new world. After quality control, the clothes are sent for final refinement and trimming. Here, all the loose thread ends and fluff are removed. Clothes made using knitted fabric and velour especially require cleaning because they have a fleecy structure. Even though all the pieces are ironed in the sewing department, during the sewing process, they once again get wrinkled. That is why the clothes go through a final wet heat processing. All the wrinkles get ironed out as well as parts of the material with embroidery and other decorative elements. Afterwards, the clothes are once again checked and then a label attached. Finally, they are packed into plastic wrapping. Swaddle blankets are a thing of the past. Look how much stylish and beautiful clothing there is for even a day-old lady and gentleman. Look at the shorts and the shirt. I wouldn't mind to have worn this myself. Excuse me, do you have this, but only in my size? Oh, what a pity. You are watching The Process, a program in which we tell you in detail about how it works, thereby shift your perspective on things that surround us daily. My name is Nazar Muhammad Jan. Until next time.